Okay, so let's talk about length measurement tools here because this chapter is not only about units, it's called measurements and units. So how to do measurement is very important. On the screen, these are the three kinds of very common tool you may find in the physics lab uh, where we need to use to measure the length. I will do the one on the left as an example and I'll leave the other two for you as a practice and then we'll discuss. So for the first one, it's called the meter ruler, which I'm pretty sure you have seen it in junior science. Um, for its range, it's referring to how far uh, the maximum that it can measure up to. So obviously it is one meter and that's why it call me, it's called meter ruler. For precision, in case you don't know what it means by precision, that means the smallest distance you can measure up to. So it's like in between the marking uh, how far it is for the smallest uh, distance. So in a more professional or more standardized way of saying it in physics, this is called the smallest division or smallest graduation. So I don't have a meter ruler at home, but then I have a normal ruler I just randomly grab. And so if you try to pay attention to that, you can, you can see that this is in one cm between the number and there are 10 division between them or 10 interval between them. So that means each interval will be 0 0.1 cm. I'm pretty sure that this is the same for most of the meter ruler that you can find in the lab. So I always call this 0 0.1 cm. As for the precision, it also means that whenever you measure something, the best you can measure is up to this only, up to a this decimal place only. So for example, if say uh, I have got a a say a uh, USB or a drive, you want to you want to measure it. Uh, the best I can measure is probably if I try to do it right now, it's about uh, six point seven. Okay, six point seven cm. But the thing is, uh, it may simply may not be exactly six point seven cm. It could actually be 6.72 cm. But with such a ruler, there's no way I can know that it is 6.72. I can only say 6.7 or 6.8 at most, right? In between 0.7 or 0.6 or 0.8. But then I can say it's 6.72. Okay, so that means this limitation is, I mean, the precision showing us the limitation of your tool and that's very important in physics as for the time when we will use it i would say uh, for most of the time when we measure object of course that is within one meter first of all and also um, really some more regular object because um, this is more like using for measuring uh, a certain distance when in your experiment or uh, the distance of a string, etc. So for things like that are rounded or uh, much longer, then you obviously cannot use a meter ruler to measure. So for the other two questions, I'll leave it to you now. Please try it out, pause the video, continue the video after you finish it. A few moments later. All right, so let's talk about the measuring tape first. So I happen to have a measuring tape at home. Actually, I think it's quite common that you have one at home. Just ask your parents, probably you can find one. So uh, I guess you have used it, just pull it out and you know, just be careful with your fingers sometimes or your eyes as well. When you use it, you can also lock it and then it will just stay there, right? Probably you have used it in DT lesson too. So the most important thing in physics here is uh, we want to know about its range. In fact, for each different measuring tape is different depending depending on the model so for mine you can see here is written as a 3.5 meter so i'll trust it i mean i can i can actually pull it out and check but then i guess uh, i will just check it so i'll put down 3.5 meter if you have a different one i think that's fine but usually for this it will probably be between 3 to 4 meter or even longer but then uh, i don't think it can be too long because uh, in that case then you can you can imagine this will be much bigger and that's not handy enough. So around three to four meters, I think. As for precision, let's take a look together. Um, they actually provide both inch and also uh, CM. So uh, you can see that it is the same as the normal ruler that we use, like the meter ruler that we just showed uh, earlier, that in between the two CM, the lower row is a cm the upper row is for inch so we will just stick with si units so inch is not going to be used 
in physics basically. So for CM, uh, you can see there are 10 division or 10 intervals between them. So once again, uh, it is the same as a meter ruler. So I will say 0 0.1 uh, CM again. So unless you have somehow a more precise one. In fact, for a ruler, I did own a ruler, but it is somehow lost. Uh, that is more like a metal ruler manufactured by I don't know what company. But then uh, the first very few CM, like 3 CM, they also provide even smaller. So it's probably like, uh, I don't know, 0 0.01 maybe? I, I, I'm not sure. But then, uh, yeah, it actually is it really different from different models. But then this, we are talking about the most general case. For the time when you will be using measuring tape, obviously, is when you uh, don't have, you know, enough length for meter ruler. As in, maybe it's something that is, uh, say, the length uh, the height of a door um, then yeah usually it's around around two meter roughly so then using a meter ruler would not uh, be able to help you um, at the same time you may also you should also realize that for measuring tape in fact it is not just limited to the one that I'm showing you right now uh, there are some sort of uh, tape measure people may call uh, that is soft for maybe test how uh, tailor for measuring maybe when you're trying to make some clothes you know uh, you want to measure your body size then you need to use that so for some sort of um, measuring tape you can actually use uh, for rounded objects so both I would say both regular and rounded object Right, depending on, I mean, if you have a soft one, then you can do for a rounded object, of course. Lastly, for the wheel, we actually, I mean, people just call it wheel usually, but then the proper name uh, could be called as trundle wheel. All right, I don't know why it's called trundle wheel. All right, maybe it's, if someone, anyone know, let me know in the comment section. But then this is the name. And if you uh, apparently don't have it at home, but then uh, you can imagine when you try to use it, uh, it will be keep turning. And usually there's a click sound. Whenever you pass through a certain point, it will just click, click, click. All right. And each click sound, most of the models that I've seen, is one meter. So whenever you uh, just measure uh, a certain distance, you just kind of roll over it. Uh, usually it's the ground scene for me. And then you can count by listening, hearing uh, how many clicks that you're producing. So for the range, in fact, you can keep going, right? It's actually infinite. So I would say it's actually infinity, okay? And for the precision, again, it depends on how you do it. If you only count on the click sound, that means I just uh, keep rolling and then I find out, oh, click, 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 five, say five times. All right, and then I keep going a bit up to the destination I want to stop. Uh, I don't have the six click. So that means it's in between five meter to six meter. Okay, so if you are only doing in this way, then obviously the precision is only in one meter or you can claim half of it, so 0 0.5 meter. That's one way of doing it. Or uh, if you can ensure that your starting point is actually zero meter and then you keep going up after the five click and then you kind of see oh it's almost the end already so you keep going and then you see the uh when you stop the, the wheel you can also see the marking i mean if you look at the picture that i provide to you i mean it's not completely blank right there's some marking there so you should be able to see i guess it's by uh meter i think so i mean not meter by one cm i think so uh the precision if that's the case will be one cm so again it depends on how uh the approach you chose apparently for uh, the time when you will be using the trundle wheel is most likely for measuring the uh, ground distance right so for example if you use uh, a rotor rocket or anything you want to measure how far it's cover uh, or simply doing a uh, speed of sound experiment you want to find out the distance first uh, then yeah this is the way you can 
measure distance. No one will be using measuring tape. I mean, it's just 3.5 meter, or or even worse, a uh, meter ruler. You got to flip the ruler hundred times if you want to measure hundred meter. Then that's not something that we should do practically. So trundle wheel will be used in this case.